Welcome. Today we're going to discuss the ABCD2 score, a valuable tool in transient ischemic attack, or TIA risk assessment. The ABCD2 score is used to assess the risk of stroke within 2, 7, and 90 days after a TIA. The score is based on age, blood pressure, clinical features, duration of symptoms, and diabetes. Each component carries a certain number of points. To calculate the score, add up the points for each component. The total score ranges from 0 to 7, with higher scores indicating a higher risk of stroke. Score of 4 or more should be hospitalized for accelerated workup and prevention, as the risk for a stroke over the next 7 days is around 1% per day. Only score the acute deficits, not the old deficits. A score of Virde 3 indicates low risk, or 3.1%, stroke risk at 90 days, with a score of 4 or 5, or moderate risk. The risk of a stroke at 90 days is 9.8%, and a score of 6 to 7 or high risk, the risk of a stroke at 90 days is 17.8%. This helps guide further management and intervention. Only score the acute deficits, not the old deficits. A. Is the patient 60 years old or older? Assign one point if older than 60. B. Is the systolic blood pressure greater than 140 systolic or 90 diastolic on arrival? Assign one point if that's the case. C. Does the patient have dysarthria or unilateral weakness? One point is assigned for slurred speech and two point for any weakness. D. Did the symptoms last less than 10 minutes? between 10 and 59 minutes or greater than 60 minutes. Assign zero points for less than 10 minutes, one point for 10 to 59 minutes, and two points for 60 or more minutes. Second D, does the patient have diabetes? If yes, then assign one point. Remember, the ABCD2 score is a tool, not a substitute for clinical judgment. Always consider the global individual patient's situation. For example, patients with severe atherosclerosis, severe CHF, valvular disease, etc. For further information and disclosure, see description below. Thanks so much.